Hello my dear friends, you are on the military summary channel and today we will discuss the situation in Ukraine on the 10th of April. And first of all we will start from the Kherson region. There were a few interesting news from this area. First of all, first of all, the news are coming from this small area, from this small town named Alexandrovka. This town located on the west of town named Kherson, or the uh, main town in this area. Uh, these two towns on the south of town named Alexandrovka was taken by Russians. A few videos ago I told you that Ukrainian forces they were trying to they were planning to attack Kherson and in their official information uh, sources they told that they, are, they were planning a big operation in Kherson and they were trying to return it. And the operation was the kind like um, they were try they were sending their forces uh, using this road, using this town on the beach, and they were dropping all their forces here in town named Alexandrovka. Uh, and they prepare here a small fortified area. So it's not very pleasant territory for for uh, Russians. It's very close, and uh, the distance between this this area and the Kherson is around uh, 33 kilometers. And the bo the biggest benefits of this area is that from this area they are also able to attack uh, another uh, another beach of uh, this river. So from Nikolaev they was able just to attack their airport. And from this area, they were able to attack this area. So that's why this town was very important for Ukrainians, and they captured this. And also, they were planning to take these uh, towns as well. But Russians, they spotted this operation, and they sent their forces here. And uh, they stopped the Ukrainians' attack, and they captured these two towns. And yesterday, Russians, they attempted to attack the town named Alexandrica. For now, as far as you can see, this town is totally surrendered. And these road is cut it so ukrainian forces they don't have any supply support from ukrainians and uh there as, as as far as i know from the open source and from ukrainian sources these guys are asking uh, the main group which located in town named nikolaev to help them to duplicate this area because they're surrounded their armor their supply comes to end and they, they are in a very bad position and yesterday russians they try they made um some reconnaissance in combat uh, then they met the oncoming fire and they were forced to re to come to retreat on their positions to their positions so now russians are here and i seem think that sooner or later this town will be captured because if russians they are planning to attack nikolaev and very very soon in any case they will have to do the same they will move with the same uh, in the same way as as ukrainians did they will move in the same direction using this beach because it's it is much more easy to protect the forces here uh, of course it will be, um, it will take more time because one thing to attack through the field and another thing to move from town to town but in this case uh, it will be harder but their forces will be protected by buildings by towns and it's uh, less um, d distance you need to cross between town to to start operation nikolai uh, another very important news are coming today from the north of this Nikolaev region. Russians, they are attacking this town. They are moving also uh, from the beach to town named Askirovka. This one. In this direction, uh, they are planning to capture this town. And the main clashes today are here. We, from pre previous videos, we saw that Ukrainians, they are mainly attacking the fields. They are taking these small farms, small, town, small uh, buildings in this area. And Russians, they are moving here. Uh, so, what uh, Russians are planning to do in this area? Uh, the main idea, as far as I understand, and I got news today from uh, from uh, Russian sources and so on, that uh, there is uh, there is a small town here, uh, Novokakhovka, in this area, this one. And today there was a meeting here uh, for supporting Russians. So people, um, local people, they went on the streets and start to support Russians. It wasn't like a very big meeting because we understand that that uh, uh, there are, people are still scared. They don't want to risk with their lives. But some people went there and they were for Russians. And as far as I know and as far as the news we are get, uh, uh, having from this area, that Russians, they, prepare, they start preparation to, for referendum. 
it's it's maybe it's just uh, like talks and nothing more but uh, but it's talks and people uh, they know something from this area they see they see all the situation and they say that Russian start for referendum and this referendum is about creating Kherson public republic uh, public uh, people's republic as they did in, in Lugansk and Donetsk. Now, why is that? Because as far as you can see, Kherson district is totally under Russian control. Uh, so, so uh, they're totally, the Kherson district ends with, ta with this area, with this border. I see this border, right? It's like border of Kherson district. And from this side, they control almost everything. And in this area, the last town they need to capture is uh, Alexandrovka. Maybe these small farms, I don't know and a uh, few towns uh, in, in the north so that's why russians are activating here their pressure here so they control almost like 98 percent of this area and uh, it sounds reasonable that they are planning to make some referendum uh, i'm i'm not sure i can't say about the result of this referendum but uh, they want uh, um, to create or just talks the Kherson public uh, uh, people's republic so that's it about the Kherson district. So we see the clashes in two directions and so on. Now we're moving to the Mariupol. From Mariupol also came today another news. Uh, Russians there uh, moving very slowly, step by step. And the main uh, information we got from this area that they may managed to take this area, this total area. We see this like this area. Uh, so before, as far as understood, there was a small the channel uh, with us of study in this area I'm not sure that anybody used this channel because it was very close to Russian forces and they totally um, had uh, the full fire control of the, over this area but today Russians they took this area they moved their forces here so we see that gray line uh, it, this map shows this is like main clashes but I think that in a day and two this territory will be totally colored into um, uh, red color and we will say that this territory is under Russian control and now let's move to the north uh, to the uh, to the Dnipro region this one uh, Russians they're bombing this area as heavy as possible and today we got information that they destroyed the totally destroyed the Dnipro airport uh, we understand that we saw in the news that a lot of European countries and world countries they are sending their force, they are sending their equipment to Ukraine, and of course it's if uh, it's possible to send as close as closest as possible to the Donbas border, it's the best solution because one thing to send the equipment somewhere here and uh, on the uh, on the west of Ukraine, and another thing to send uh, equipment uh, supply here. So Russians they're bombing this area. You see they're bombing Pavlo the main railway station main center here they're bombing um, airports so they're they're bombing uh, everything they can bomb all every kind all kind of infrastructure which can help Ukrainians uh, to support Donbas border so uh, it's, it's it's very important so they're moving here and also this area uh, another Another explanation of bombing this territory, the activation of their action in Kherson district, because at this airport they supplies those two areas, the Krivorikh uh, area and the Donbas border. It's a very uh, important uh, uh, supply center in the south of uh, Donbas, of Ukraine. Uh, now we are moving to the uh, uh, Slisichansk conglomeration. The, uh, as far as I understand, and I uh, told it many times in my previous video, that this agglomeration uh, become mm, a, t a t very tough nut to crack for Russians. Uh, so today, from the very morning, they start bombing this area. This you saw, also see these these like railway roads, these territories. So it's very, also very high industrial territory, mm, and. Uh, uh, these two, few towns, and as I told, there are around 15,000 of Ukrainian soldiers. So Russians they start bombing this area. It was like preparation before attack. And after that, they start their storm operation. But um, it, um, in, during this storm operation, they understood that uh, for now it's impossible to take this area. So it's more, it more was like uh, not uh, reconnaissance in combat, and they also 
they also met oncoming fire and they also were forced to move on their position so uh, for now Severodonetsk uh, is still under Ukrainian control and you see that the, this very interesting area uh, you, you know that we discussed the river Seversky Donetsk uh, it's a very important river and also this town Rybizhnoye where yesterday was the explosion of nitric acid and there is another river which split this territory in two parts so it's very easy very nice area to protect and and they understand they understood Ukrainians will fight for this area till the last till the last Ukrainians and it's their position now we're moving to the north, it's also to the Kharkiv region. You see that Kharkiv is also under very heavy fire control. It's bombed all, all, all days, every day, so many bombings. And more and more sources saying that Russians, they didn't drop their attempt and their um, wish to uh, conquer, to, uh, to take town named Kharkiv. And it's reasonable for, from many sides, and one of them is history. Uh, and so on. So uh, this territory is bombed, but I think that um, uh, today, at least today, this territory was bombed for another reason. Uh, maybe you saw the pictures in internet uh, like this, uh, that uh, it was a uh, photo from the uh, from the satellites that in this area there is around 12 kilometers uh, traffic, 20 kilometers column of Russian forces of Russian equipment and they're moving these using this road and for now I'm not sure where they where is the destination of this area or they're planning they're moving to the Izum of course it's might be and another way these forces can go of course to this area uh, because there is there is some forces Russian forces here and they're standing here and of course they might send some forces here to, so there's like two front lines and and they're moving a lot of forces here and they're still planning to take Kharkiv according to talks we could say um, I think it's maybe for now impossible because Kharkiv is uh, one million and more population and uh, uh, Mariupol just 400,000 so it's like two times more than Mariupol even more three times more than Mariupol and for now it's like suicide operation and but we'll see this because this group is enforced with the Kiev Chernigov uh, groups so maybe they have chance to do this uh, now we're moving to the Izum region Izum region to the Russian they bombed this town named Davgenkova this area and this is town uh, stands on the road to Lysychansk and this town uh, stands among this forest you see uh, so uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, so there is a lot of green groups here in this forest and a lot of they're moving here to this position from this forest from this forest they do attacks in Ukrainian forces and then they go back so Russians they bomb this area also very heavily and this um, this forest uh, plays a very important role for Ukrainians for protecting themselves from attack Russian Slavic so this is also the reason why it's much more easy to attack Barvinko because it's just a field and open air so they can move from with a wide front to take this town and then to, to, to attack these heart of Donbas from the back and not to attack from the front because this protected air with the forest it's uh, I think that if Russian will use this role they will just be attacked into flanks from both sides and they will lose a lot of uh, vehicles and technique so and that's it for today thank you for watching subscribe my channel and enjoy your weekend bye bye